Hello guys, yeah, this is your man Bashiru, page on pay investor. And today I'm here with a very good, you know, um, lesson for you. You know, so far as Patreon pay is concerned, and so far as our new patron is concerned, you're still going to learn so that you will be well equipped for this new change, okay? So now, what we're going to do today is that we're going to look at how best we can swap our money from Patreon to Ether. I think a lot of requests has come and I think this is the right time for me to do this video. So now, you go ahead and click on your, on your, how do you call it, on your uh, MetaMask. So let's do that. So when you click on MetaMask, you wait small, it will load. And when it loads, then you go ahead. I think by now, all of you know how to add Patreon to the MetaMask. So let me know in the comment section if you can do that. So now, what we do is that you go to the menu, okay? You go straight to the menu, and then you search for Uniswap, okay? You, you can see there was a three lines at the top, you know, left side of the screen. You can see that top there. That is where you will find the menu. So you will just click on that menu, okay? When you click on the menu, then, like I said, you go ahead and then, you know, try and then search for Juni Swap. So let's do that now. Okay. So you go to the browser. Okay, this is the wallet. You go to the browser. So you go to the browser, then you search Uniswap. Already, I have searched it, so it's already on my phone. But if you don't, if you're not, if, if you've not gotten to this place, make sure you go there, the browser, and then you search for Uniswap. Okay, Uniswap.org. Sometimes you will not even finish it; it will just appear, and you click on it. So now, this is what you see. Okay, when it when you click on the Uniswap, this is what you see. But when this thing appears. What you're going to do is that, you know, we are moving the money from Patreon to Ether. So it means the Ether has to come down and the Patreon, sorry, and the select token has to go up, okay? So you see in between the Ether and the uh, select token, there is an arrow. It's an arrow. So click on the arrow. Click on the arrow. And please, when you do this, you won't see any money inside. This one, I have it. So I, I have just do what I have to do, that is why you are seeing the balance there. But when you do it, you will see the balance. And this one too is my ETA. A lot of, I have some kinds of money or some amount of money in my ETA scan. Okay. So now you select the to, uh, the patron. So what you're going to do is that you click on the select patron. Okay. Select patron. Sorry. Uh, select token. So when you select that place, first of all, if you are a new, you have to add the patron. You have to add. So already I have added it so I can see it here and select it. But what you're going to do is that you see there's a search name or paste ad address. So you will go back to the patron page. You will go to where the news, where the select, uh, where the patron security is. You will go there. Then you will search for contracts. Okay. When you come down, you will see contracts. You will click on the contracts. It will open, then it will, it will take you to Etherscan. Then in the Etherscan, you will go down, you see profile summary. Beneath the profile summary, you will see an address. You know, it's a long one, you know. Uh, but I'll make sure I will leave the address in my, uh, at the, you know, at the description so that you guys can also, I don't know, copy it or whatever. But make sure you can copy it yourself from Patreon page. You go to the contract. Your contract you select then you know you make sure you you know what you bring it when you go to contract and you click on it it will take you to either scan then you go down you see profile summary you just go there then you select uh, the address you see you will copy it there is a copy symbol i don't know, at the end so you click on that then it will copy it for you okay so let me know if you are still finding difficult in the comment section so when you copy then you bring it to where i showed you then you will paste it there you paste it when you paste it they will tell you to import it i have done all these things so i'm not sure i can do it now they will tell you to import it so click on the import follow what they will tell you to do 
whatever thing that comes, just import. They will tell you to import, just do that. When you finish importing, you will now get the patron listed in the select token, okay? So now, we are back here. So when you come here, then you will now enter the amount of money you want to swap, okay? So let's say you want to swap 0 0.7318, whatever. You will just enter it at where they get. Sometimes they will tell you to, they will see, you will see a max, okay? You see max. You can just click on the max. If you click, it means that you want to swap all your token. You see, if you click on the max, you will see that the amount of money you have in your wallet in the MetaMask will appear here because you want to swap all. But if you don't want to swap all, you want to swap some amount of the money, you have to enter it, okay? When you enter it, then they will give you equivalent in ether, okay? Now, you see that we have allow the, allow the Uniswap, uh, Uniswap protocol. You just click on that one. When you click on that one, it will take you to different levels, okay? Different place. So over there too, we will also know over here, you see that it said give this site permission to assess your patron, okay? So you go for approve, but then I always I, I advise people that you see network fee, hmm? network fee. Sometimes they will charge you some network fee. The network fee is different from the gas fee, please. So the network fee, you know, you can just select your own network you want to pay. But please don't select slow. Sometimes component it's not advisable to select you know average because if you do that, that's a slippage. If you do that, when the price moves up, you cannot lose the money. So I always prefer selecting the you know the fast because when you select that one, it means your 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 transaction can go can go through smoothly. And the difference between the average and the fast is not you know it's just some points, okay. So just do that. When you then you go for approve, okay. Then you approve it. When you approve it, it will take you to different, you know, different uh, interface or different page. So then, now let's see what is going to happen. You see that it's it's it's, it's just you know uh, transaction is on process, okay. So when this thing happen, they will take you to another level, okay. When you go there, that is when you. You will do what you you check your gas fee. If you think the gas fee is high for you, please you can wait for the gas fee to drop. Then you go ahead and what, and then swap. Okay. If you think the gas fee is what is 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 you know is is big for you, you can just wait. Little time it will what it will it will just drop and then you go ahead and then swap. Okay. If you think it's not easy, please don't go ahead and swap. Don't swap. If you think it's high for you, don't swap. If you think it's okay for you, you go ahead and swap. I think this video makes sense for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be coming out with a very nice video. Very soon, I will do live transactions and you guys will see how it works. Okay. Thank you. And share it to the group so that they can also enjoy this video.